today I'll show you how to replace the battery in virtually any Samsung A-series phone. I'll be using this model as an example, but the process will be about the same for all models. You'll need a hair dryer, some back cover adhesive, and a new battery which costs about 10 bucks, or 15 if it includes a battery replacement kit. It's very convenient if you don't have all the necessary tools. Let's start by heating the back cover to the point where you can barely touch it. Next attach a suction cup like this. Gently pull on the cover until you see a gap. Then insert a prying tool and carefully work your way around the edge, prying the back cover off completely. If the cover becomes difficult to pry at any point, apply more heat. As you can see, the process is pretty straightforward. The same process for any phone with a plastic cover. But if your phone has a glass bag, you need to be extremely careful. Start by thoroughly heating both the back panel and the frame. Then gently pull on the suction cup and start prying one side at a time. Insert a prying tool and move on to another side. Next, we need to remove the frame. Don't forget to first remove the SIM tray. Then disconnect the battery and the ribbon cables above it. As you can see, the battery is glued to the chassis. If you want to carefully remove it, you should use the bonder liquid. This stuff is amazing for loosening adhesives. Simply apply it around the edges of the battery, wait for about a minute, and then remove the battery. Next, I'm gonna clean all the glue residue with rubbing alcohol. Then we need to apply these adhesive strips to the battery. Start by removing the blue tape and attach the strips like this. Remove the remaining blue film, flip the strips over, and firmly stick them to the battery. Finally, peel away the pink film, and carefully place the battery back into its place. Now let's attach the ribbon cables and connect the battery. Reattach the frame, starting from the USB port side. Before you secure it with screws, turn on the phone to ensure that the screen and charging functions are working properly. Finally, we need to reattach the back cover. In my case, the existing adhesive is still pretty strong, so I could just warm it up with a hair dryer and put the cover back on. But let's do it the right way. So, first let's remove all the sticky glue residue. Now let's apply a new adhesive tape. Remove the large clear side, and then apply the tape to the back cover. Press down firmly to ensure it bonds nicely to the panel. Then peel off the green tape and reattach the back cover. Apply some pressure along the edges to make sure it adheres well. And you're done. Enjoy your phone.